Hello and welcome to part one of Chesham United. This is my second attempt at the Daffuse Challenge, um, which I'll go into in just a second. We're at Chesham United. Um, we wanted to take over a team that basically is the bottom of the, the ranked bottom of the Conference North or the Conference South. And let me just explain why. This is basically where the, the basis of this complete playthrough series is. It's on the SI community forums, if I'm sure you're all familiar with those. Basically, you take over a team that you couldn't take over in the beginning of playing the game. So you play, you, you load a whole season through unemployed, and you wait for teams to come into the Conference North or the South. And that's what I've done, and I've decided that I want to take over the team that's ranked, that, that the press will believe will finish bottom of both divisions. So North or South, I've gone for Chesham, and basically, yes, yeah, so this is the details of the challenge. Um... There are rules of the particular challenge. Anyway, so the challenge is that you then take Chesham right through to win the Premier League and the Champions League. That's the, the challenge then finished. You're not allowed to leave the club. You can only sign players if you can get a scout report for them um, or you can bring them in on trial. That is the details of the challenge. Let's have a look further at Chesham. So this is Chesham's website, Chesham United FC. Um, they're currently in the Southern um, Premier Division. They're doing quite well by all accounts. Yeah, Evo Stick South, they're in Chesham United. I have to say, I have had a look at some important news in relation to Chesham. It looks as though in the season 2010 to 2011, the actual club became a truly supporters run club, which is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Um, as I say, this is their website, Chesham United. Um, they've got a Twitter account, which has been updated around half an hour ago, which is quite good. As I say, on the Evo Sticks League Southern website, it just gives you some more information about Chesham. Unfortunately, they lost this past weekend away at Kings Lynn. That's the club. Let's just have a look at the club and game. So having a look at the club, you can see they've won the Ismian Premier League Division once and the First Division twice. Okay, the nickname of Chesham is the Generals. I'm in charge of the Generals. Reputation, UK and Ireland reputation is one star. We're a semi-professional club that was founded in 1917. And not too bad. Ticket price £11, season ticket price £124. We've got 210 season ticket holders, which is quite good. Um, now, interestingly enough, our media position is dead last. 350 to 1, they believe for us to achieve a successful season. Um, as far as I'm concerned and my profile, I just want to show you the details. So basically, I am a, a manager that's a Sunday league footballer has passed playing ex experience. I have no badges. My ratings are awful apart from my determination. Um, I'm determined. And also, mentally, I think I'm going to be quite strong with this team. Um, I'm on £550 a week, which is not too bad. Um, and as far as the team is concerned, there has been a whole host of changes, a whole host of signings. So, transfer history. Let's have a look at the players that have been released. Uh, there's been six players that have gone from the club, two have retired. Um, I have to say, I took over the squad and it was awful, absolutely awful. Um, as you can see, I've brought in a whole host of players on trial. And a lot of these I've signed. Quite a few of them, I should say, I've signed. So let's have a look at the signings. So, all transfers. First and foremost, Usman Saidi. Defensive centre-back. His mentals are all right. Um, basics, heading, marking and tackling is good for this league. Physicals are quite good, apart from his balance and his stamina and strength. But his three-star ability, five-star potential, he's come in. Max Beersmore is a goalkeeper. He's got three-star... Ability, five, five star potential. Needs to improve his one on ones, but basically, it's, it's not too bad. He's, he's, he's in, he's a backup. Michael Abnett has come in, and his mentals are fantastic, by the way. Physicals are okay for this league. Basics of tackling and marking is good. Uh, he's two and a half star ability, two and a half star potential. He's in, full back. Will Sykes is the goalkeeper. He's better than. Um, Beardsmore, so he's going to start. He's three star ability, five star potential. He's in. Matthew Williams is another defender. Um, physicals are okay apart from his stamina again. 
but his marking tackling is good I mean he's in just to bolster the numbers I had two defenders which were awful Andrew Frisk has come in he's acted as cover ball winning midfielder tackling's good marking's okay positioning teamwork work rate's good the basic stats attributes for the ball winning midfielder are rather good I and mean, he's in two and a half star ability two and a half star potential he's a backup TJ Colbepper is is classed as the the best player in the squad. For centre back, nineteen year old, he's got five pace and six acceleration, which could be a real problem. Stamina's only four. I've got the whole team train on on the fitness side to improve their physicals because our physicals are awful compared to the rest of the league. He's in. Carl Lynch is coming, another defender again bolstering numbers. He's two and a half star ability, five star potential. The basics attributes, his determination is awful. That'll improve. He's only 18. Must doubt he's coming. Central midfielder. Physicals are okay. Needs to improve his strength like a lot of the players. Mentals, not great. But he can pass the ball. Uh, his work rate's high. Pace is good. Acceleration is good. So he's in. He's only a youngster. He's on three and a half star ability, five star potential. Michael Kamara, a name that's familiar with a lot of people that are around the LM scene. He's in. He can play left back, left fullback, right fullback. He's in. Physicals good for this level. Mentals are okay. Uh, technicals are okay, but he'll do a solid job for me. Shama Bako has come in. He's, I think, the second or third rated in the club. Pace is brilliant. He's a poacher. Pace is thirteen. Acceleration thirteen. Composure seven. Finishing and first touch thirteen. He's in and he's going to start as the main poacher. Four-star ability, five-star potential. Charlie Shaw's come in. He's a winger. I'm looking to bring in a lot of players and, and get rid of all the driftwood. Um, basics for, winger, for a winger role is good. He'll do a job. He's three-star ability, five-star potential. Jake Willits, another midfielder's come in. He's a playmaker this time, but we'll see. His technique, vision, work rate... Pace, fitness, acceleration, agility is key. First touch is good. He's on three and a half star ability. He's on four, five star potential. He's a midfielder. And Sam Coulson, defenders come in. Physicals are okay. Uh, the basics for, the, for a defender is good apart from determination. So this is the squads. And as you can see, I mean, there's a whole host of numbers. But basically, the squad's okay. Um, it's going to need work. So basically, in the Vanarama, they've asked me to fight bravely against relegation, which hopefully I will do. English FA Cup to try and reach the third qualifying round, and the FA Trophy to reach the third qualifying round. Um, we're predicted to finish dead last. We just need to try and avoid relegation this season, and then hopefully then look to kick on. Um, if you have a look at our pre-season, it's been awful. The reason it's been awful is because I've been trying all sorts of tactics... And rather than try and play around with the, with the team, I mean, if you look at the, let's just have a look here, the team report, I've got so many weaknesses, it is untrue. My, if you look at the league, see, if you look at the comparison between physicals are, not, are, are okay, mentals, not, not bad, technicals, not bad, but these need to improve. The balance jumping and stamina needs to improve in my team. It's awful, by the way. Um, it's a squad depth. I mean, if you have a look here, the best 11, I mean, we've got okay players that should be enough for us to avoid relegation. That's the aim for this particular season. It's going to be a long old slog. Tactically, I'm just going to go 4-4-2. I'm going to play counter-flexible. I'm going to ask the players to work the ball into the box and close down a bit more and stop goalkeeper distribution and just see what happens, basically. So, this is the team. Oh, Let's tell you the, the, who we're going to be playing. So we're going to be playing Bath in this first episode. So this is going to be the team for the very first game. Sykes in goal, Kamara, Coulson, Culpepper, Abnet, Shaw, Hayden, Gleeson and Hutton with Toomey and Bako. I've got players in on trial that I've just offered contracts to. I'm looking for a proper target man. But my fullbacks are on support. My defenders are just central defenders on defend. My wingers are on support. I've got a central midfielder who's on defend. I've got a ball winning midfielder who's going to go and search for that ball and try and win it. He's on support. Target man support. Poacher up front on attack. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. This is Bath at home. And just remember, we are the lowest ranked team in the league. Um, just a reminder from the board, fight bravely against relegation. That's what we're going to be doing. 
were aiming for 40 points this season. They're going to play a 4-2-3-1 against our 4-4-2. It could be a long afternoon. So I'm going to try and make... Right, I'm going to ask the midfielders passionately. I've got faith in you. Defenders, the midfielders. I don't really do this. I've never sort of done all this sort of stuff. So as you see, my last playthrough series, I got sacked. So I'm trying to do something different. Okay, here we go. This could be a long old season. Let's just hope that we can start okay. Back goes in in the beginning. Holds the ball up, does well. Plays it back to Hayden. 17 seconds in. And we're playing. We're knocking this about. Brilliant, by the way. Oh, cross was just too long. That was a chance. Good start. Good start from the generals, from Chesham. Just need to try and build. It's all about picking up these early points in this in these leagues. It really is. We need to avoid relegation this season. That's that's the main thing. We have to fight against it. They don't have much hope, but I do. I think that hopefully we can. We can battle bravely and we can hopefully finish somewhere sort of fifteenth. Around sort of 12th to 15th would be good for me. Right, they've got free kick. We clear it. They get the ball back in and they've scored. Tonks has tonked the bloody ball in. The ball was half cleared. Crossed it back into the box. Yeah. And he scored. 25 in. We're one down. We've got another free kick. Oh, headed over the bar this time. Oh, Gleason's injured. Frisk will come on and do a job. He can play the same role. Confirm the substitution. Not ideal. They're dominating possession, dominating shots. We were playing on counter. Approaching half time, and it's been all bath, to be fair. But we're just trying to find our feet in this league. Don't forget, we're the bottom ranked team. We've just come into the league. It's going to be a slow start. Right, let's encourage these boys. Assertively. We're lucky so far. The team seems to like that. Don't know why I said we're unlucky. We deserve to be losing. Right, let's hope and get we can we can get a reaction. Second half. Some sort of a reaction. We are the home team. I'm just wondering if I should switch this to standard. Just to see, I'm going to do a shout as well. I'm going to encourage these people. Don't normally do that. I've never done that before in a game. Right, 55 minutes in. Nothing much more from the general so far, Chesham. Right, we're an hour in. Let's try and make a change. Right, Bacco's done nothing. So, so Oran Swales comes in. He's going to play... He can play as a poacher as well. Pace, acceleration, finishing, composure is not great, but that's not the problem. Fullbacks, Abnet is not, is not playing very well at all, so he's going to change with Reynolds. Um, we're going to change this to, stand, to standard to see if it makes any difference whatsoever. Two changes so far. We're now up to five shots, four on target. We're looking for a highlight. They're still dominating the game. Sorry, that's all three changes, I should have said. Because, of course, we lost Gleeson in the first half. Six shots, four on target now. We're beginning to play a little bit better. But I'm still trying to sign the right players to play the way I want them to play. I think, to be honest with you, when you play these leagues, you have to go standard. You have to go standard. 4-4-2 formation just to start out to get a base to build from. But this is, I mean, Bath are a team that's tipped for success this year. So a 1-0 defeat at home is not too bad. they got a free kick again. They've hit the post and they've scored to make it 2-0. Just so I was saying a 1-0 wouldn't be too bad. 2-0 Bath. Never mind. That's the first game of the season. Cross comes in. Header hits the post. They follow it up and score. I think that's going to be it. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> 448 fans disappointed today. Team talk, calm. 
Do I want to be far from pleased? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, some of them are motivated. Some of them are motivated, which is good. Gleason's injured. He's out for with a torn hamstring straight away. Three months out. Absolutely brilliant. So that's basically it. So that's Bath. That's the first game of the season. We've lost 2-0. Um, this is going to be this season about consolidating, consolidating our position in the league. It's going to be a long old season, a long struggle. But if you've liked what you see in the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel on YouTube for Football Manager content every Monday to Friday with Chesham and the Generals. See where it takes us. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.